This is a video on solving equations with variables on both sides. So as you can see, I've got two examples that we'll go through. And we have a 7x over here, but we also have a 2x over there. So the problem is typically, or in previous um, videos, you might not have seen this 2x here, right? And you would have a two-step problem. Um, we're simply going to turn this into a two-step problem by moving either the 7x or the 2x. And the way that we do that is we are going to do the same thing that we would do if it was just a number. So I know that this is a positive 2x. And if I subtracted 2x from this side of that equation, these would cancel each other out. 2x minus 2x is 0. Now also, if I have an equation, I need to make sure that I subtract 2x from this side of the equation as well. Now when I do that, I'm looking at these as like terms. I have 7x minus 2x, that is 5x. I drop down my minus 9. I drop down my equation. I know that the 2x and the minus 2x cancel to be 0, and I drop down my 1. So now I have a two-step equation. I want to get rid of that 9. It needs to go with the 1. So in order to cancel that from this side, I need to add 9. And if I cancel that on one side, I have to add it to the other. Or if, I'm sorry, if I add that to one side, I have to add it to the other. The 5x drops down. I know the 9s cancel out. I drop down my equal sign. 1 plus 9 is 10. And when I divide by 5, I get x equals 2. Make sure that you drop your equal sign down. Make sure that if you divide this side by 5, you divide that by si side by 5 to get your answer. x equals 2. Example number 2. Now, again, it doesn't matter which one I move. I can move the 3x, negative 3x, or I can move the 10x. In this case, I'm going to move the negative 3x. How do I cancel a negative 3x? I would add 3x to both sides. When I add 3x to negative 3x, they cancel. Okay, I'll do a highlighter so that you can see the number still. Uh, the positive 1 stays positive, so it's now 1. Drop the equal sign down. 10x plus 3x is 13x minus 25. Drop straight down. Now I have a two-step equation. Because it's an equal sign, I'm allowed to just flip the whole thing around, but I'm just going to leave it like this. I'm going to add 25 because I want that to be with the number. So I'm going to add 25 here. It essentially it cancels this from that side, leaving the 13x alone. And I have 1 plus 25, which is 26. Then I divide by 13. After dividing by 13, these cancel, leaving me x. 26 over 13 is 2. And I have x equals 2 as a solution. Now, if I were to do that a different way, it's quite acceptable to have multiple different ways to solve a problem. So I'm going to run through the same exact equation in a separate way. So instead of moving the negative 3x, I'm going to move the negative, I'm sorry, the 10x. So I'll subtract 10x from both sides. And that gives me negative 13x plus 1 equals the 10x's cancel. Drop down the negative 25. Now I'm trying to get this 1 away from the x. So I will subtract 1 from both sides. If you drop down the negative 13x, the 1's cancel. Drop down the equals. Negative 25 minus 1 is negative 26. This time I'm divided by negative 13. I still get x and I still get 2. x equals 2.